Coming up, a Sad Styles production. Get into it. So ski free. Yeah. Or 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 die hard. Well, what's that? I said you ski free or you die yeah. hard. Yeah. Um, what about ski for like a dollar twenty five? No, 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 too much, too much, too much. Got to get that price down. I'm, I'm worried that this is a game that is so <laughs> bare bones yeah. that we can't even fill ten minutes of gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was like Spy Hunter when we did it the twentieth time starting. It's like, well, I guess we'll, I guess we'll do it, once do it again, more. you know. And it was I, fun, but I bet you Spy Hunter is way more fun and action packed than Ski Free. But we'll see. I mean, it didn't stop me from spending an inordinate amount of time with this game when yeah. I was a kid which we'll get into on the podcast, but uh, let's see. Maybe we'll, we'll struggle to get 10 minutes of gameplay, but we will get that. 10 minutes we of will gameplay. get that. We, yes, we can. <laughs> and welcome to the retrograde podcast where we remind you what you used to love and whether or not you still should. I'm Major Baskin. And with me as always is the bad boy of podcasting. Mr. Bebop himself. Mikey Free. Aaron Word. Just laid up on a platter, Just, eh? I mean, that one's easy. That's I was, was kind of thinking about overcomplicating it mm-hmm. uh, because that's typically what I do uh, with, mm-hmm. with my names. Yeah. Uh, I, but but in this one, I'm like, you know what? Let's just take the easy route. Okay. I, I like love that. doing that. Yeah, take the easy route. It's, it's just so like a, much easier. Just like putting on a couple of wax boards and going down a, a hill. Oh, very easy. Are you talking about skiing? My I good, am. My good dear friend, Andrew. I am. That's my co-host, Mike Aaronworth, and hey I am talking about skiing. Well, I, I, I understand why you're bringing that up. Now, if you're listening to this podcast and you why saw- Why am I bringing it up? Well, because the title of this podcast is Ski Free. Uh, and we're not just offering trips up a mountain uh-huh. at no charge. Right. We're obviously focusing on this week's game, which is Ski Free. Now, if you're new to this podcast, typically what we like to do is take a look back at the games that we used to play right. when we were kids. Usually it's something we had an affinity towards one way or another, good or bad. We rate and review the game out of four bits based on our memory of the game. Then we play the game, play some of the audio or the video if you're watching over on YouTube. Come back and rate and review the game as it holds up in the modern day against the likes of modern games. Before we do that... We like to take a swift left slalom turn yes. into bullshit zone and just talk a little bit of nonsense, which is what we'll do as well. <laughs> the double black diamond of pure bullshit. Well, okay. I like that you say double black diamond, Andrew. That's a little inside baseball term for skiing for a mountain that is difficult. Inside baseball inside for skiing. baseball skiing. So is there a version where you play baseball while skiing? Actually, that sounds pretty that good. That sounds we fantastic. Yeah, intro. we should do that. Is there a video game that we could play? Yeah, that represents cut this off. This? Let's just create okay, a new yeah, sport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, a new podcast as well. I do like the idea that we... Riding down, that's free. Yes. That 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 chairlift on the way up, that'll cost that's, you, man. That's, that's gonna cost you quite a bit. That's how we get you. That's first taste is free, baby. <laughs> I uh or or it's free to get up there and you don't tell them that once they're up, they <laughs> you live pay up to here come now. down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you can stay, but if you want to get down, you gotta pay the troll toll. Yeah. <laughs> or the abominable snowman toll. Yeah, yeah. All the hotels here cost ten thousand dollars a night. Like, oh. oh man. Getting down? Free. For, well, five, I was going to say 5,000. Oh, so 5,000. You you're screwed either way. You're screwed either way. Yeah, either we're way. Getting we're, your, we're getting your money. We're breaking your legs either way. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, I, I'm i excited to do this game because, you know, we, we've we talked about venturing into these older Microsoft games. Yes. Like these, these games that everyone just had on their computer and no one had a fucking clue how they got there. Uh, I'm talking Chips Challenge. I'm talking Minesweeper. I'm talking U2 album. U2. <laughs> <laughs> That's Apple, man. Oh, sorry. Not Microsoft. Right. No, how sorry. dare you? Um, um, man, if all the Windows computers came with a U2 album, you'd be so happy. You'd be, be hawk so heaven. happy. I'd be so happy. I, I would bullet the blue sky in celebration. Is that a U2 song? Andrew, come on. It's one of their favorite <laughs> songs or their best songs. It's one of their 32 platinum singles. Thank you for, I don't know. When I, when I heard that, that there was a potential to get like U2 albums were just going to show up. I started scouring my computer and to this day, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. <laughs> Oh, which is a new U2 album. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. You you unironically love U2. Why would it be ironic? They're a great band, yeah. objectively speaking. They are. Speaking of a great band. Uh-huh. Uh, the Get Back documentary, the Beatles documentary oh, on Disney Plus. Fuck yeah. Okay, I wanted we I'm gonna give it a little bit more time because I like everybody that has written written articles and like uh, spoken into podcasts about uh uh, about this, it's it's an eight hour documentary yes. on okay. Well, it's an eight hour documentary. Yes, it's split into three, parts. Yeah. Into three parts, directed by Peter Jackson. It's about the the writing of uh, Get Back, um, and uh, it, it about the album, their last album, the Beatles' last album. And it's because it's this archival footage of a documentary that was once aired in the seventies, but it was kind of famously like a really shit documentary. But this footage was 
not found, but like was kind of released to Peter Jackson. Right. And he spent like years working on this. And it was supposed to be originally a theatrical documentary movie about this. And now has been since you, since during COVID, he was like, actually, I've got like a ton of footage. Can I just yeah. do this in an eight hour documentary? It is fascinating, but I don't want to ruin too much because over American Thanksgiving, everyone like started just talking about yes. it. I'm like, who had eight hours to just watch? Honestly, this? it's the first weekend guys. Jesus Give it a fucking rest. Right. That's like us. Like, Hey everyone, hope I hope everyone saw Spider-Man at midnight on Thursday. Yes. Like it's Friday. We're going to talk about it. Like, is it in general though? Cause you, after we watched Ghostbusters mm -hmm. and, uh, and we had our, if, Hey, by the way, if you're not a member of our mushroom club, hey. patreon.com slash retrograde podcast, we did a Ghostbuster spoiler cast, uh, the day after we saw actually an hour after we saw it. Yes. We came in and talked in and you, you came uh, over and we hung out for a bit and you showed me the trailer for yeah. get back and you were really excited. I'm for so it. excited. Did it live up to the hype? Can you at least say that? Absolutely. No, oh, Absolutely. Really? Oh, that's if amazing. You, I, the Beatles is, uh, Ken Burns has like a really funny thing, uh, where, you know, Ken Burns can be a little, uh, grading at times too but like he always talks about how he has this thing from like 10 to 60 years of how things eventually don't matter as much as they once did right and it's like because eventually at 60 years most of the people that cared about it at the time start dying yes and so then it dies out with that right the Beatles are the opposite where they're maybe more famous now than they were even when they were writing music same with Queen Oh, sure. Yeah. They're not going to last as long, but it's the same kind of thing. Every so often you have those 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 artists or bands that transcend time that Oh, way. for sure. But like people can name all the members of yes. the Beatles. They yes. can like d break down the psychology of who was who was the leader and who was writing these songs. Yes. And man, how did George feel at the time? Because he was kind of a little kid. Right. Ringo was such an idiot. And then you're like, blah, blah, blah. blah. But Yoko Ono. Like, I don't know who, who was Brian May married to. Like, I have no idea. No idea. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of, it's one of these things where the Beatles, like, Ex, you know, expand past the time that they actually were popular. So you have all these like really interesting moments of like, you know, I don't know. I'm going to give like a teaser to you. Not with it. There's no ruining it. It's happened 50 years ago. But like when George <laughs> quits the band famously, that what the fuck, <laughs> Andrew, I haven't seen it yet. So famously, George quits the band during this album. I haven't watched a single trailer. I haven't listened to a single Beatles song, Andrew. I've been waiting for this documentary. I didn't know anything about it. You've been waiting. You've been waiting all the years that you've been on this earth to yeah. see this documentary. My dad was like, "Have you heard the B?" And I was like, "I don't even know their name. I don't know the name of the band you're about to tell me about." Yeah, I feel like something big is going to happen. And he was going to say the Ben Ben Folds Five album. He was going to say and, Ben Folds and Five. And you're like, "Oh man!" I, and you missed out on that too. Oh, but what a brick of an album that was! <laughs> God damn yes, it! Yes, naming the famous song. <laughs> Good job. Um, but like when George quits, like there's an honest conversation where they put a mic in a teapot and they didn't, and Paul and John don't know they're being recorded. No. And it's like, it's, I'm not going to ruin too much, but like they have a conversation with very famous people that they could replace George with. They're like, I don't know. Do we call Eric Clapton? He would do wow. it. Wow. Like, it's like, so there was almost an album with the three of them and Eric Clapton. Like Jesus it's, Christ. It's crazy. And, and also just to watch them be like musical geniuses yes. to watch Paul in 45 seconds, right? Get back. Like it's unbelievable. Like for 30 seconds, he's just kind of playing and he's like, Paul's also a member of this band. Yeah. His name is Paul McCartney. Okay, okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Sir Paul McCartney. Oh yeah. So he's pretty famous. He's done pretty well for us. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I'm sure I'll learn all this in the, in the documentary. Yeah. I'm sure you will. Like yeah, there's, yeah. Just, there's so much, like I don't want to ruin too much, but like, like George having all these songs, but like he's with John Lennon and Paul McCartney and they're like, yeah, yeah, George. Okay. Thanks. Like, cause he's so much younger than them too. Like he was 14 when he joined the band. They were 17, 18. Uh, and so he's 25. They're 28, 29. Like there is a difference. And so like, they're like, yeah, George, thanks very much. But you hear the songs he has. You're like, oh, that's all. That's all his solo. Album. Yes. So he yes. just held them and just like went to this. Cause they wouldn't do them with him. Yeah. Like yeah. you could hear Paul writing, let it be in the background. And you're like, oh, so that comes up later. Uh, like it's, it's, it's just a crazy, it almost feels like, like voyeurism, but not in like, not in an innocent, it almost feels dirty. hundred percent. Watching this. It, uh, I, they ne there's no way they could have known at the time that this is being filmed, what documentaries would mean in yeah. the public consciousness at this point in time when it comes out. Well, they're just so smart. Like what I said to my player one is like, it's a time, it's a time machine. Yes. You are literally a, stepping into the sixties. It's like unbelievable. It's yeah. like, even like they were so ahead of the time of thinking about visuals and archiving their own life. Every musician, every athlete now has a camera crew following them because they're trying to archive exactly. their life. Yeah. That's not shocking. But them doing this then, like Billy Preston steps in because he helps finish the album in place of George Harrison. And 
he walks in and he's like, whoa, and he's looking at the cameras and he's like, what's going on? And they're like, <laughs> oh, we're just filming a thing for the, the album. And like to them, it's nothing to him. He's like, what? Yeah. Why would you do this? Exactly. Like, exactly. And, oh, it's just unbelievable. So yes, please go back and watch it. We will talk about this in a few weeks. I'm going to let everyone. I'm going to, I'm going to, have you finished it though? I got one more. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to watch probably the first or second episode uh, over the weekend and then we'll, we'll kind of catch ourselves up yeah. on it. Uh, but in between actually watching that documentary, I'll likely be going back to playing Returnal. Oh, uh, and I'd like to update some of my my status there, uh, uh, where where I stand now. <laughs> this game stresses me the fuck out. Okay, uh, because obviously, like, so it's a roguelike, and yeah. if you're not familiar with roguelikes, it basically you. means you go uh, uh, out into the world, you get as far as you can, you build up oh. uh, as much of your kind of like death loop, like you get a progressively better character over okay. the course of this run. If you die, you start back from scratch. Some things carry over, but for the most part, you start fresh as a new character. And the most beneficial thing that you get is your own experience playing the game. In most roguelikes, or in a lot of roguelikes, especially the indie ones, a run can be 10 minutes, 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. In Returnal, it can be an hour, two hours, wow. three hours. So when you get towards the end of it and you get towards a point where you're making new progress, it really starts to stress you out because you're like, I'm going to have to start again if I die. However, I've been playing it really reserved in terms of like my actual exploration. I, I'm I'm used to playing Dark Souls and every encounter I treat as though it could be my last. Right. Uh, 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 mentality I do not live my life by. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, I'm in the middle of it. So I, I spent last Sunday playing this game. I think I put about six hours into it so far. And uh, which isn't as much as, as some people might think, but I- For you it is. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Not over the course of one day, six hours over the course of that weekend or so. Oh, uh, okay. But I- uh, And I a weekend is what, typically like Friday to Sunday? Uh, I would call it, uh, no, for me, it's Tuesday to Sunday. Right. I have one work day. Oh yeah, you 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 have a sweet schedule. You, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You negotiated that. That's I, fair. I negotiated with yeah. myself. Yeah, well, yeah. good for you. And, yeah. my, and my landlord, <laughs> who said you need to pay me, and I said, "Fuck you! I only work one day a week. How the fuck do you expect me to pay a month's worth of salary or, or rent?" Yeah, and what, what did he say? He said, "He said goddamn squatters' rights and stormed out of here." Absolutely. And, uh, and, and I've been happy ever since. <laughs> I've been great. And now you get to play Returnal. Exactly. Tuesday to Sunday. So I I got to a point where. Uh, the first couple runs were basically just trial and error, trying to figure it out. So two quick runs that ended fairly quickly. The second run, I made it pretty far, uh, like two biomes. And the third run I, uh, I did, the third main run, I made it past a point in the game that I didn't know was the actual halfway point in the game. And apparently, like I've been, I've been speaking to people and trying to get their, their opinions on the game. And they're saying it's like sometimes a 30 hour game. Whoa. And I got to the halfway point, which kind of checks your progress. And now you're, you start from, from that point on, uh, apparently I'm halfway through the game. Whoa. I managed to get there dying twice. Uh, and I feel really good about myself. <sighs> Everyone I asked are like, that's very impressive. But I think the reason is I play the game in such a boring way. Uh, for those of you listening who have played the game, I made it past the third biome. I've never met a boss who I haven't killed uh, uh, outside of my first try, okay, which is good because you oh, and wow. I, you and I hate boss fights. We do, and the whole time I'm doing this, I'm like, how am I supposed to figure out the pattern of this boss when if I die, I have to spend another two hours getting back to it? That just yeah. seems incredibly yeah. frustrating. Yeah. And when I was fighting the third boss, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, if I die after all this progress, I probably will not play this game again, and I don't know that I actually would have. But I, I, you're so funny. You make yourself promises like this where you're like, <laughs> you're like, like I think it happened most recently with. Deathloop. Yes. And you're like, if this doesn't work out, I don't know. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, I, that's so funny. I, I also hate boss fights. We do, we hate yes. boss fights. And so when Metal Gear Solid, when Snake is in a, in a boss fight, I hate it doubly because it's big boss versus boss fight. It's too many bosses. Is, I, what, 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 what are we doing here? And, and then in the background, because I know you love this show, Undercover Boss is playing. I 100%. And, and I'm holding list. I'm holding my stuffy for baby, boss baby. For boss baby. And I hate And you're that. playing Bruce Springsteen <laughs> in the background. The boss. It's all boss. Oh my God, it's and too much boss. who made your shirt that you're wearing? <laughs> It's Hugo Boss. And, <laughs> and the night before, guess what I'd watch? What? Star Wars. But the Phantom Menace. Boss Nass. Oh, oh no. my God. Come Andrew, on. Andrew, it's just uh, like how. And then you, you cry into a mirror. Yeah. And then, but your mirror version of yourself doesn't see you sobbing. It mm -hmm. sees you bossing. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa. Turn off Bruce Springsteen. I can't take this anymore. You got it. Next up, Boss Skaggs. <laughs> no! 
No! Well, your Alexa is very fast and loose, very informal. <laughs> very turn fast off and turn, loose. Turn off, turn off the music. Yes, you sexy hunk. <laughs> Turn Whoa! Off, turn off the music. Instead of that, how about more music? <laughs> turn it, yeah. Sorry, we we have a rapport. She knows yes, what I mean. Yes, exactly, yeah, exactly. Okay. Change the song. So, um, so that's my update with Returnal. I'm going to keep at it. I would like to roll credits on it. I would, because uh, um, the story is actually fascinating. Uh, in the so game, did you just say roll credits on it? Yeah. What does that mean? Finish it? Yeah. If you roll credits. Oh my God. That's so, you never heard that's that? That's so cool and casual. It's, it's so cool. Yeah. So since, since uh, a couple weeks or last week when we talked about, uh, uh, playing bass and wanting to learn bass so yep. I can say, take my bass for a walk. Yeah. Take your bass for a walk. I've been lurk. I've been, I'm like, Hey, I've got hobbies. Yeah. I'm sure some of those hobbies have cool things that I can say. <laughs> Rolling credits is absolutely one of them. So can we do, change the hashtag to hashtag Mikey doesn't roll credits? <laughs> Yeah, it'll take up 90% of a tweet just by putting the hashtag in it. <laughs> Send out a daily tweet, schedule it every day, 9 yes. a.m. Mike yes. doesn't roll credits. And you would not be lying. Yep. You would not be lying. But I might roll credits on this one. Who Maybe knows? we should start a new Twitter account. Did Mikey roll credits today? Oh, that's great. And just no, 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 that's no. That's great. Yeah. I actually... Maybe Winter Turtles, you know? I'll start with that. Yeah. You know, keep an eye out for her. At Mikey doesn't roll credits. I don't think I can fit that into a, 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 a handle, but we'll see. I'll figure something out. <laughs> DMRC? <laughs> you know, like, did Mikey roll credits? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Yeah. I, I think it. that's also Devil May Really Cry. <laughs> that's the sequel. Yeah. Devil May Boss in a mirror, <laughs> which means Devil May Sob. Sob. <laughs> Um, Stop making devil sob. Yeah. Uh, I, I have one order of business though that I do need to bring up before we go anywhere else. And it's part apology. You to me? Part retraction. Not oh. to you. Fuck you. It's oh, to okay. the listener. No, uh, to, to the only people I care about in my life. Um, dear dear listeners. Dear D-pads. Dear Evan Hansen. Dear, <laughs> dear Evan Hansen. I broke my arm. Um, I, I gave Spy Hunter a review last week. Yeah. And here's a little peek behind the curtain. When we recorded our gameplay for Spy Hunter, yeah. uh, it turns out we recorded our camera, but we didn't record the gameplay portion. It, yeah. it didn't record. Something glitched out and that didn't record. Yeah. So what I ended up having to do over the course of editing, because I was editing this week, mm -hmm. was play enough of the game that I could cover off our commentary yep. and match up what's happening on screen with what we're actually talking about. So like recreating old areas and everything in the process of doing that, I played another hour or so of spy hunter. And after that, I went to an arcade bar, a barcade oh, as some of them are, are called uh, uh, a nice little portmanteau. Yep. Um, and I, I booted up a, a an NES. It had spy hunter on Whoa. it. So I played more of that. I played a lot of spy hunter that day. Yeah. And guess what? I fell in love with it. I love Spy Hunter. Whoa. It clicked for me. Listening back to that episode, I was like, if we gave it 10 more minutes, a couple more runs each, I feel like we would have. it would have clicked for us. We gave it so many runs, Mike. We gave it a ton of runs. <laughs> and who knows, maybe we were too focused on commenting on it that we never would have like <laughs> yeah, strategized maybe. enough. But that whole thing of like constantly shifting up, down, up, down, and like, and like, moving around cars and, and yep. changing your speed. When it starts to flow, it feels so fucking good. Flow state. I was definitely in a flow state. <laughs> I got much better at the game. Mm, congratulations. Uh, and that's probably why I like it more. But I'm saying that I need to adjust my score in the, in the modern day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, listen, Andrew. Whoa. Listen, I know that this is- Unprecedented. This is, is absolutely unprecedented. But I feel like a man- Uh-huh must admit when he is wrong and do so with grace, dignity, what and a weird way to gender respect. this conversation. <laughs> a woman can do whatever the <laughs> fuck they want. That's your own business, yeah. woman. I was thinking more man versus boy. Mm, oh, I see. Yeah, Adult yeah, yeah. versus child. Adult versus child. Sure. <laughs> I'm giving this game. I gave it a two in the modern day. If you go over three, I swear to God. Andrew Bascom. No. I'm giving this game a three out of four. No. <laughs> I'm what? adjusting my score. It's a three out of four. What? It, so how do I know any of your other scores are true? You're 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 throwing a whole system into disarray. I'll let you know. Okay, good. I'm gonna go back one by one. <laughs> Today I am updating Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, Sonic. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to say that because here's the thing. I, I I I did love the game. I think we gave it as good of a chance as we could. We really did. But I think it was being forced to play it again and being forced to strategize because I was kind of like I was like, oh fuck it, I'll just give it a couple more runs, and I wasn't getting anywhere with mm -hmm. it. And then I'm like, okay, I need to actually focus on this in order to get to the score that we had specifically mentioned yep. in the recording. And then I did that. And once I got, once I clued it, I got like triple that score. And I was like, this 
this is a good game because I'm good at it now. <laughs> you, were you playing it and going like, if I don't triple my score, I'm done with this game forever. Yeah, yeah. This if I don't it. do it this time, I'll never play this game again. <laughs> yeah. If I don't get this spy to the end, like there is some kind of end game. Is there actually a finish to that game? No, they can't. No, 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 no. It's a forever not. thing, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. It's a forever thing. It's a forever thing. You marry that game. You, you put a ring on that game. Out of that game. Yeah. yeah. When I when I asked the the bartender at the barcade if I could be hooked up with Spy Hunter, he said, "Are you sure you're willing to commit to this?" Yeah. Because this is a forever thing. Did you ask Spy Hunter's parents? <laughs> I I, I uh, actually so Spy Spy and, Hunter's mother got killed, uh, oh. and that's why Spy Hunter uh, chose a life of of espionage. No. Oh. Um. His dad, great guy. Oh, really? Great guy. Yeah, I think actually, I think they joke about that in Skyfall where they're like, you always pick orphans. And she's like, well, yeah. Like, yeah, uh, of yeah, course. Why wouldn't I? Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Yeah, they have nothing Less responsibility. Lose. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so uh, <laughs> the, the other order of business that I need to bring oh, up, Andrew, this one's a little bit more fun because, <laughs> listen. A little more fun. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, take a break. <laughs> it's, a little bit more fun. casual Sunday here. Casual Sunday. <laughs> You'll notice I'm not wearing a tie today. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but over the weekend, mm. we had Black Friday. Yeah. Well, two weekends ago. Yes. We had Black Friday. Yes, we did. And I I was perus- I was perusing the internet, mm. typing in websites. I found my way onto a website called bestbuy.com. <laughs> and they said, there's a bunch of stuff on here. You give us money uh-huh. and we'll send it to you. Right. I was well, that's like, how that works. I was like, I guess I'll make a purchase. Oh no, I just, I just got where we're going on this one. I think it was a Papa's purchase. (sighs) By golly, it's Papa's purchases with me, Papa Mike. Get on board. Um, So uh, I made a purchase. Papa made a purchase. This is a segment called Papa's purchases uh, (laughs) over over Cyber Monday. If you didn't get that from the drop. I was going to say, the point of the drop is you don't have to introduce it. What? Yeah. Welcome to Papa's purchases. Yeah. Um, um, Well, you introduced the retrograde after our theme song. The, th- the retrograde doesn't the theme song doesn't go and here's the retrograde now retrograde and all, and all. retrograde <laughs> we should do that that sounds good it'd be great yeah um so i uh i, I made two purchases actually oh. one i doubled down on my vr obsession oh or lack thereof <laughs> and i got the oculus quest 2 oh cool now the reason i did it is because the, i had a hundred dollar gift card for best buy oh, okay and they offered a 75 dollar gift card reimbursement if you buy it uh, and I know I can sell my vibe for about 150 bucks. So it's really like a net neutral, like a barely okay. like I spent money. Um, and there's no wires to hook up to the computer. I think that's very important. Well, explain why the Oculus is so cool. The Oculus is so cool because my biggest issue, I think with the vibe that I had was the number of, of wires and connections that you need in order to have the setup work properly. The, the, the Oculus quest two can be, you can use it not hooked up to anything. You can stream from your computer or you can just use it without a computer, which is also very impressive. Doesn't require the sensors up and down. It all just kind of works more organically. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the the barrier to entry of- Self-contained. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The barrier to entry of working with VR on the Vive is like, well, you got to put the headset on, you got to make sure it's connected, you got to have yeah. the, or whatever. So this just feels like an easier way to get in, get cool. out. Maybe more bite-sized. Plus it has Resident Evil 4, which I'm very, very excited about. I was going to ask if there's any games you're like- It's like, Resident Evil 4 for yeah. sure. Sure. That's legitimately one of the reasons I got it because that's we one of my favorite games of all time. Have to film you playing this game. It's going to be. I will film myself. I don't know if I'll stream because I can't keep track of chat. Yeah, like, no, while, while no, I'm playing, no, but no. I will film myself and see how it goes. Um, the second purchase I made. Uh, also, I'm going to be looking at a bunch of porn. That's that's the other thing. Yeah, let's um, be real. The second purchase I made was you know how we had the uh, the Game and Watch edition of Mario. Yeah, for the anniversary. Well, for the Zelda anniversary, they did a Zelda version uh, in November, towards the middle of November. I finally got my hands on one of those. I fucking love those so much. Yeah, they're just adorable and they're very cute. And last year, yep. I bought you one yeah. as a Christmas gift, which I gave you at the end of, and this is something we're going to be doing again. Yes. Our New Year's Eve Century Club performance. Yes. Century Club being a shot of beer every minute for a hundred minutes. Yeah. Plus, because you're an idiot, shots before we started and a beer before we started. So we were obliterated so much so that I gave you the gift and you didn't remember until you re-listened to that episode and heard me give you the gift. And then you look over. And look next to me on the desk and I'm like, oh my God, what the fuck is this? <laughs> 
It was great. It was at the 100 minutes. So, by the way, we do that. Expect it to happen this year again. We're really excited to do it. On New Year's Eve, we play you, what you're, the idea is. At the end of the 100 minutes, yes. you ring in the New Year, and that's really exciting. So you start you know, an hour and, minute, hour and 40 minutes before the New Year's, and you can ring in the New Year's with us. We're definitely going to be doing it again. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun, uh, and, and we appreciate everyone who listened along to that. Uh, but that's that's it. Those are my purchases. It's the only two things I purchased. I didn't get any food. I didn't get any water. I didn't get any Really, vegetables. that's it? No. From no. Tuesday to Sunday for your weekend. Tuesday to Sunday, uh, I don't spend anything on the weekend. I no. can only spend money on the Monday. You hear about these like tech bro fast things that no. they always do. Like it's always like, well, Jack Dorsey stepped down from Twitter last week, right? Mm-hmm. And so they, a lot of people just talk about like everything about Jack Dorsey instead of who he is. Actually, yes. it's always like he he fasts all day and only eats one meal a day, or you know does all this kind of stuff. And they're like, is that good for you? Is that like yeah, whatever? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, and then you do the opposite. You do the extreme. Uh-huh. Six day fast. Six day fast. Glutton on that one day. Just I, oh man, I'll eat like a full on pear if I need to. Just one pear. Mm- a full one, like a whole thing. That's not a lot of food, though. It's. Have you eaten the core of a pear before? Mm, I don't think I have. It contains within it <laughs> just the nutrition of of uh, the only way I could put this into words is yeah. it contains within it all the nutrition of the core of a pear. Why? Well, hard to disagree with you on that one. No, I'm. I mean, I can't. I don't know what else to compare it to. I'm not good with metaphors Compared to establish to. this. Com- oh, Andrew, I mean, that is just that is top notch. Thank you very Primo, much. I appreciate Prim- that. Yeah, uh, numero thank you. uno. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Gouda. you. Gouda. <laughs> so that was those are your two purchases. Those you were made. my two purchases. Those were Papa's purchases. Andrew, catch us up on your uh, NBA uh, progress. Going well. Orlando Magic. We suck. I try my best. <laughs> I think I'm the sixth man now. So like, at least I'm getting more minutes. You're getting there. I'm getting there. You know, it's, it's been a fun game. Uh, I do want to talk about by the time that you are listening to this. Yes. Uh, Fortnite has started a new chapter. So in its history of Fortnite, there's only been two chapters. Right. And they redo the island completely. I don't know. I'm guessing at this point, because yes. this is before recording, before this has happened, but they've redone the island. Everything is new. Dwayne, the rock Johnson is a voice in one of the characters. Uh, what? Yeah, I know. Andrew, I need to play Fortnite. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, I, this game, it, I, it is so weird that I am fascinated by it. And I'm not even fascinated by it in the way that like I love playing games and then I'm like, this game is so much fun. The operations of Fortnite, it's kind of like how I've been to Disneyland once in my life, but I'm obsessed with the operations of Disneyland. That yes. The fact that they can get hundreds of thousands of people through that place every day, I think it's just fascinating. Sure. And so it's about like- You the, seem like a real fun person, Andrew. I really am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm currently reading a 1400 page book about, about Robert, Robert Moses, who shaped the infrastructure of New York. That's who I am on my own oh time. Oh my God. Yeah. So I'm so if you're out there and you're looking to host a podcast with a cool ass yeah. dude that only eats one day a week, but <laughs> does eat a full ass pear, which is shocking, which is shocking it's surprising. with all the nutrition of a pear. You come at me, bro. So, that's how you say it? come at me, bro. <laughs> you come at me, bro. And we'll be best friends. And whoever could beat me is now the co-host of the podcast. <laughs> I just, I just want to say the Fortnite thing is just it's so impressive for so many reasons. It's a free game. Yes, they make a lot of money through boxes and whatever, yes. upgrades and stuff like that. But if you don't want to, you can play for free. And the way that they redo it, I am just constantly, every time I pick it up, which is not once a week, maybe, right. I'm like running around and go, man, have somebody made all of this for yeah. free? And then they're going to do it all over again yeah. out of choice. It's just, I find that so fascinating. It's, it, it, if you don't look too closely, it feels like it's charity, but it, it's because it, in doing that, they probably see such a crazy surge yes. of spending and new players, people turning it on just to check it out. Like I, I turn on overwatch when it hits at a new event, you know, they put the effort into whatever and, it and is. other days too. and most other days in <laughs> yes, my life. Exactly. Yes. But one of them is including when they have a new event going on, especially like Excuse Halloween me. terror or something like that. Yeah. But um, I, like, I don't want to, sorry, I do not want to sell it as charity. I'm just more fascinated by the whole operation. Of this oh, hundred percent. It's just, so I mean, it changed the way that it, most companies go about making their games. Yes. You know, you have one product that you can string along for years. I'm looking at Rockstar with Grand Theft Auto mm-hmm. Five, uh, Fortnite. You got a lot of the the Call of Duties. You've got, yep. uh, yeah. I mean, it's which just Call a, of Duty had to respond in kind by exactly. doing Warzone. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, I don't know. I just I find it all very interesting. I can't wait to talk about the new chapter. You know, sometime this week, probably hit me up on Twitter. I'm probably talking about it. Uh, average grade. How much? How handy. much was Fortnite when you got it? It was zero dollars. So it was how much? It was, it was oh oh huh? it was snowboard f- a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> it was free. It was free. It was free. Is there skiing in it? Uh 
there's mountains with snow and there are clearly skis in it. You don't ski, but yeah. hell yeah. So you, yeah. you could say that Fortnite is basically the uh, sequel to Ski Free. <laughs> Spiritual successor. Spiritual successor to <laughs> Ski Free. Uh, because I'd like to shoot that fucking abominable small snowman right in the goddamn head. Okay, I am so I'm, I can't wait to talk about the abominable. Uh, abominable. That's when he has a sex pack. <laughs> <laughs> the abominable snowman uh, and how terrified he was. Banjo Kazooie and the shark for you. Yes, that that yeti. For we me. can get into the Oof. most uh, anxiety filled chases oh. of of gaming history. That would actually be kind of fun, but it can't be the abominable snowman because he eats too many skiers. He's got a pot belly. <laughs> yeah. um, obviously, we're looking at 1992's Microsoft published released Ski Free. Ski Free created by Chris Peary, who somehow doesn't have a Wikipedia page. How is that possible? I don't know. There should just be one line in it. Do create it ski free. Yeah. Scared all of us as kids with the abominable snowman. Ski free has its own Wikipedia page. Yes, it does. And he does. Is this the only game he ever made? Probably. Well, that's he was, he's I think still he was like an engineer. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Yeah. It's, it's one game more than I've ever made. That's true. And I've got a Wikipedia page. You do? Yeah. Uh, it's it's all of the uh, 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 crimes that I've committed over the course of my life. All the oh, atrocities that are owing to me. Did existing. I say Wikipedia? I meant WikiFeed. Sorry. WikiFeed. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I have my page. Hey, if you want pictures of my feet, I will open up an OnlyFans. <laughs> I don't know why you would, but if you do, I don't give a fuck. So why would I? I don't care. I'm not running for office anymore. You want a, you want a picture of my feet with my, my soft wang in it? Yeah. I'm, I'm here for it. Only flaccid. Only flaccid. Yeah. That's it. For Patreon. I can't fit it all in a frame otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think my feet would do really well if you're into hobbits. Are they hairy? Oh, I've, yeah. I've got little afros on my toes. Oh, yeah. 100%. I was going to say, let's show the cameras now, but also I don't want to do that. No, I don't. Aaron Rodgers did, and everyone was very <laughs> upset for a long time about it. So, yeah. Oh, it's amazing. Um, so, yeah, as I mentioned, 1991, uh, this game, uh, uh, so Mr. Peary, I, I think I'm pronouncing his name yeah. right, wrote a text-based game called Ski a while ago mm. uh, in which, okay, all, all honesty, it looks like a pile of dog shit. <laughs> it looks absolutely atrocious. It's it's a black screen with green text. And by text, I mean Ugh. like everything is represented by something you could do on your keyboard okay. pretty easily. You've got uh, the skis are two slashes, either back, yep. uh, back, backslash or forward slash, depending on which way you're going. So those yep. are the shapes of the skis. You've got circumflexes for the trees. Those are the little up, up arrows. Oh. Um, and and uh, 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 all in all, you put that all together and... Uh, nothing looks like skiing. No, but it's called ski. It's the very title of the game. It's in your head. It's got to be in your head. Yeah. It's a real cranberry situation. <laughs> None of which are represented on there. Um, it was part of the Microsoft entertainment packs, which are something that I don't know that I was fully consciously aware of, but now that I've learned about them, I think we need to have a month dedicated to Microsoft entertainment packs because these are the things that contained all of the different games that came on our computers. I'm talking Chips Challenge. I'm talking yeah. Minesweeper. I'm talking Solitaire. I'm talking Pipe Dream. I'm talking not Android Pinball. Oh, was, I was just going to bring up that. No, yeah. no. Um, uh, Free Cell. All these games. Tut's Tomb that, that we know that were just on our computers mm -hmm, that showed mm -hmm. up like a goddamn U2 album out of nowhere. Um, and I think I think there would be a lot to explore there. Like, which is the best one? Yeah. Who knows? I, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, so there's one to four of the Microsoft Entertainment Packs, five versions total, because one of them is a best of, and one of the best of is actually released on the on the Game Boy Color at some point. Whoa. I'm like, Honestly, I would get that. Yeah. That sounds amazing. That sounds cool. Um, do you, how much of, of this game do you remember? Oh, I remember a lot of this game. A lot of I this love game. this game. Did you, so was this one that you, that you just like that, you know, like a U2 album showed up on your computer? Like yes. Just, yeah. I like, you know, you're bored. The internet is it. it well, you're not it, snowboarding. No, that's boarding. Yes. Yeah. Or also when I lived at that school for a while. But uh, you're, you're bored on the, the, the internet is in its inception. There's only so much out there you can yes. do, uh, especially for free. Because at the time, a lot of things were subscription models. Yes. Even though funny enough, we went around backwards to that again. Mm -hmm. um, and you're just like analyzing what's inside of this box and you get to play this. And and I loved this game. I, yeah. I was so obsessed with it. I loved skiing too as a kid. And so like there was like a way of like how, you know, everybody's dad loved golf video games early yes. on. Yes. It was the same thing. It was like this kind of thing. And, uh, and yes, the snowman was very scary. Logs were very scary. Trees were very scary. Logs, trees, rocks, rocks, moguls, moguls. Oh, moguls. Jeff Bezos just just <laughs> running around there. The true mogul of them all. Um, um, you mentioned the abominable snowman. Yes, that is the meme that carried the memory of this game. I think forever. You get to the end of the run. I think it's two thousand meters, and Mister Snowman 
just comes around. Oh, you're very, you. very, you're like respecting everybody. You're respecting the creator. I will respect him if he leaves me the fuck alone. Because it was like, it's funny because I guarantee you will laugh at it now, but it was actively scary. Oh, it yeah. was so scary when the, the snowman would come. Because the music would change too. I and think so. Yeah. I think so. And, and I, th- yeah, that was all very scary. And you'd see him running kind of out of nowhere. I didn't, right. I don't know what the time that I put together that it happened at a specific point in the right. run. So I just never knew when it was going to happen. Right. It always really scared me. Now, the one, one thing I want to talk about though is, is, is this idea of of a game that is probably incredibly simple to yeah. us now um and we always make fun of like the the great bank robbery where the train comes at the screen and everyone runs out of the way it's kind of fun to think about the fact that such simple graphics could have been so scary back mm-hmm. in the day because we just weren't used to the immersion that we have. And like nowadays you can play a resident evil game in VR. Yeah. That's the scariest shit I've ever heard. Yeah, absolutely. You have to physically turn your head. You have to look yes. around. You're inside the game, especially the first person. Watch. But this is also why, like you could make the argument too. This is why like books are scarier than movies sometimes. Cause it's in your head. The uh-huh. imagination of it is so much more scary. That's true. That's true. You really, it's, it's almost like there's no escape from it in a book because the the whole scene takes place and you can't close your eyes from it. Now it's just in there. I get that. I get that. And we'll see. I don't know if it'll be scary, but you know, you mentioned the shark in Banjo Kazooie, which is a famous other thing that starts to chase you. And it's super, super scary. Mm -hmm. Uh, I rate it as one of the scariest moments in video game history for me back when we, we did that top five a couple years ago. Are there any other ones that, that you remember any other, like those specific chase sequences? It's a good, uh, you know, um, if I'm Indiana Jones, a large ball, uh, or Crash Bandicoot, or Crash Bandicoot, large ball. Yes. Hmm. (laughs) Maybe we'll be able to get away with that. Um, (laughs) I'm trying to think of like the ones that there was nothing you could do to stop it. It was just running at you no matter what. Those are always very scary to me. Yeah. I, I I think there are some specifics. I mean, Slender Man would be one of them. I never played that game because the whole game is that premise of like, eventually it's going to catch you. Like there's no escaping it. You're going to, you're going to get killed by a slender man the way that we yeah one way or another <laughs> in the game or not uh, uh the way, but that's like to me that's like the same reason we were frustrated with five nights at freddy's yes it's the same reason i think we'd be frustrated by slender man it's like it's the only thing that can happen yes in this game. yes they're gonna come one way or another yes. here you know yeah. what i mean yeah it's not like yeah i played for four days didn't see him once right you know what i mean like no it's it's in three minutes i, I think another one for me kind of similar kind of different would have been nemesis from resident evil Four, not four, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, mm. where he would just kind of show up randomly and you couldn't really attack him. He would just kind of, he'd be there, he'd be super scary, right. and he'd chase you and you never knew when you had like a wide Whoa. enough berth around him. Yeah, what, oh, okay. Yeah, uh, ooh, graphic. But had to be a wide berth to get, he, he had big shoulders. Oh, big shoulders, yeah. yeah. <laughs> big wide <laughs> like berth. a linebacker, yeah. yeah. Um, the witch in Left 4 Dead, Oh, you fuck could, yeah. You could hear yeah. her, and then when you start older, you just got to run, and yes. hopefully the other people take her down. Yes. Uh, that was always very scary to me, too, yeah. But none of them beat the abominable snowman. No, snowman, snowman, because it's not like I can crack off one of my skis and hit him over the head or something like that. that. I mean, that would be great. Yes. That would be, uh, listen, if we remake this game, it's all about getting to the end. Okay, you know how there are some of those games where it's like, I can't remember one of the names of it, uh, uh, but it, it's basically a math game. Like Frog Fractions, I think okay. it is. And it starts where it's like one of those learning games yeah. where you're just like like gathering uh, numbers and like doing math equations, but you can break the game by like jumping into the water and that brings you onto a whole dark like backstory about the game and it becomes a real twisted game. Oh my God. I would love to see a version of Ski Free where you do the run, but if you do the right thing you turn it against the abominable snowman and then it becomes like this dark horror game right about yeah. you escaping the abominable <laughs> snowman that'd be awesome I'd love you to get back that. to the cave there's just like limbs and like bones exactly. and stuff like that yeah. oh my you God. wake up like luke skywalker hanging upside down yes. and the wampas what is it wampa something like that well no that's crash bandicoot again but yeah oh yeah a bunch of fruits around you it's <laughs> great you just eat live in a cave <laughs> amazing sounds amazing yeah um so the gameplay itself this i did actually have to remind myself of because yeah. i remember playing the game but i i i very vaguely remember the modes i mean the game came out in 1991 mm-hmm. i was born in 89 I'm not gonna say ladies anymore because I'm an, I'm an old man now you're not an old man ladies <laughs> come on i got a werther's original in my pocket for you Ooh, you're going to have to reach in there and grab it. Oh, God. I'm an old man. I can say that. Cl- classic old man bullshit. Uh-huh. What? I'm an old man. I'm an old man. It's, it's called the uncle corollary, where you're at a table <laughs> with your uncle, and he's like, what? what I do? And what like, I do? Yeah, just just some racism. <laughs> Cancel culture. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can't scream obscenities at a pizza parlor no more. <laughs> oh, that's a slur now? I knew it, but I, I thought I could you know, get a few passes. I really thought I'd get away with <laughs> yeah, this <exactly>. one. <laughs> I thought, listen, if I can't say it at the local pizza pizza, 
Where can I say <laughs> local pizza? Pizza or Pizza Hut if you're in the United States of God bless America. <laughs> So there's three. Thank you, 45. <laughs> <laughs> there's three gameplay modes in this. Yeah. There's a slalom, there's freestyle, and there's tree slalom, mm -hmm. which is interesting because is skiing the only sport where you can add tree <laughs> to a pre-existing version huh. and now that is a new sport entirely? That's a good question. I Well, based on your premise, you could add trees to any sport and it would be a new sport. Can um, we? Can we though? Should yeah, we? Yeah, we should. Like add it to baseball. Oh, it hit the tree. Tree better figure out where it went. Add you know. it to the 100 meter dash. Now you have the tree 100 meter dash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 100 meter tree dash. No, tree 100 meter dash. Mm. Just that's the 300 meter dash? No, tree 100 meter dash. <laughs> oh, so it's much more simple than I'm giving it credit yes. for. Yes. You're just adding the two things together. Well, it sounds like 300 meter dash. Yes. But it is actually just 100 meter dash with trees. Now, you can take a wide berth around those trees, much like giving birth to a nemesis. Mm -hmm. uh, so you may end up running 300 meters. Right. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you how to get. It's on you to decide how to get to the finish line. Yeah. Do you know where trees. you have to finish. How you get there, it's up to you. That's up to you. Yeah, it's like an eco challenge or it's something. <laughs> Exactly. It's like a real quick version of the amazing race. <laughs> um, so um, slalom, you ski around flags. Yeah. You run, you, you get there, you, you do it as quick as you can. Absolutely. That's all it is. Tree slalom. <laughs> is there flags? Trees. Well, I, I, well it, it, it's what we just talked about. <laughs> right. But there's trees in there. There's okay. trees involved. <laughs> that, but trees. Okay. <laughs> Freestyle. Are you okay? Freestyle. Freestyle. It's 1995 Detroit, and you are Jimmy B. Rabbit Smith, stirring out a crowd, growing more and more restless as you attempt to think of rhyming couplets which explain to them why the other person on stage with you is ultimately a cock. So that, that's the mode of free ski. That's freestyle. Where you're freestyling. Ski free when you freestyle. Mm -hmm. You are Jimmy B. Rabbit Smith, yes. staring out at a crowd, mm -hmm. growing more and more hostile with you as mm -hmm. you attempt to perform rhyming couplets to right. explain to them why the person who's sharing the stage with you is ultimately more of a cuck than you are. What do you think he would say? What does he say in the game? Uh, everybody in the house from the ski one free, put your motherfucking hands up and rap with me. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh, I love this so much. Why can I think of that? And yet when it comes to making awards for the games, I shit the bed every fucking time. I hope this game doesn't win any awards so that we can do this again. Yeah. Oh, hey. I the other day, the sorry, <laughs> I, I still think about it. I still think about it all the time. Uh, it's just one of the greatest things that's ever happened <laughs> on this podcast. Bill Murray of rights or something. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> for Ghostbusters. The Bill of Rights Murray or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh God. Fantastic. Go back and listen to our Ghostbusters. Yeah, that. please do. And I apologize in advance. <laughs> So Andrew ski free is a game that I spent way too much time with as a kid. Yeah. Uh, you did as well. Yes. Uh, and I think that warrants us giving it a review based on what we remember the game as, right. as little baby boys, um, before we actually take a break and play the game. Mm -hmm. So are, are you ready to do that? I, I would love to. All right. So for the listener, as we mentioned, we're going to take a quick look back at the game based on how we remember it, playing it in 1992 and thereabouts, 19, yeah. you know, yeah. around the time when we were playing it as in little subsequent kids. Years. We're going to give it this rating out of four bits based on uh, what we thought about the game purely subjective as little kids not reviewers then we're going to play the game we're going to come back and rate and review the game as it holds up in the modern day against the likes of modern games so two different scores out of four bits one for the retro score one for the current score andrew you started us off with your retro score okay so as a kid i did play the hell out of this but i think i was also smart enough to go this is out of necessity if i had something else i probably would play something else but the the, the problem with these microsoft games with the games that came with your computer yes is you're like you, you're never like get one get the fuck out of the way i gotta play free ski sure. you know I mean? ski, ski free, free. I think it still kind of stands though. Free ski? Well, if you want to be free ski, you're going to have to pay the toll. <laughs> the troll toll? You want to be free ski? <laughs> you're going to jail. Stop and free ski. Are you feeling all free ski? I'm feeling free. <laughs> um, I you you do it out of necessity. Like mm -hmm. I, I'm being real about that. I'm still going to give this a good score because I loved playing this game. Yes, but it's also not a four because it's not like holy fucking shit. I need to play. Free ski. <laughs> okay, well, listen, now I feel like you're doing it personally. No. No? Um, Andrew, I, we are sitting face to face. So when you look, when you gym the camera like that, I can see, I see, I see you raising your eyebrow. It, you're still doing it. No, I don't think I am. No? 
am, are my eyes playing trick? Now you're nodding. Yeah. This is like, what am I, chopped liver? I'm just giving some treats over at the YouTube. Uh, oh. People to watch on the YouTube. Little bit of an Easter egg. Yeah, a little Easter egg. Okay. You know exactly what I was thinking um, as I gym the camera. Um, yeah, like y it is out of necessity. So I just, I got to dock it a little bit for that. But man, at the time, there were a few, few games that I really, really loved more, especially yes. in that really early, early time uh, before the like Genesis and before I got my like Genesis where you're like, holy shit, totally. games can look like this. Totally. So I'm going to give this a three out of four. Amazing. I, I agree with everything you're saying there. I, and, and I disagree in one little way. You know, I think you said that you kind of knew even while you were playing it, that you weren't, you were doing it out of necessity. Mm -hmm. Not, not me. No, my imagination was so strong back in that day that I was skiing. I mentioned this on the podcast yeah. all the time when it's spy hunter. I was a spy. I wasn't like, yeah. I was fully able to be in that world. And I was, I enjoyed playing ski free as a game, not as a, an app that I found hidden in my start menu. Right. Um, and if it was between this and Minesweeper and Solitaire, it was ski free every fucking time. Huh. Every time. Uh, I would turn on the computer to play ski free sometimes. Yeah. I remember playing this with my brother and going back and forth and not really knowing why our scores were getting higher, but they were getting higher. Oh, they were getting higher. And we were, uh, and I would play it all the time. I, 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 I hesitate to give this anything less. You're going to hate me for this, but a three and a half. Oh, no. Because, that's fine. because it was so integral. It, it laid the groundwork for me liking video games in the first place, understanding, like, yes, it's super stripped down but it taught me that playing games interacting with media on a screen was something i really enjoyed yeah uh, and it it made me kind of learn how to apply my own uh imagination to it mm -hmm. and get that much more out of it that way so yeah. i'm giving this one a three and a half you're wow. giving it a three uh six and a half out of uh eight baby six and a half out of eight <laughs> i cannot imagine that no. it's uh we're going to experience bathos like none other a bathos. large fall from grace <laughs> yes uh but this is gonna hurt it's gonna hurt it's gonna start at the top of a mountain yep. and it's gonna tumble down down all the way and down probably get uh devoured by a devoured monster, by a monster. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> uh but let's take a break let's go play the game and we'll can't see wait. you guys on the other side love it can't wait Whoosh. Ooh, Whoosh. ski noises Whoosh. wow <laughs> <laughs> the classic ski noises <laughs> oh my god my family impressive for the early 90s this graphics that we had <laughs> <laughs> all right ski free bitches i'm sorry actually let That's me oh. so aggressive ski free copyright 1991 version 1.04 okay can i say that i like that the um credits not rolling are in in the game like it's like organically part of the game oh like it's it's just up there yeah on the screen it's kind of cool so, so controls are pretty easy other than that right it's just go down yes okay well yeah i think i'm doing up. slalom and i think i'm doing a very bad job Oh, oh, he went I, through the gate. Through the gate. Is that allowed? Mm -hmm. You you used to do yeah, professional ski race. racing. Yeah. Uh, no, you cannot go through the gate. It's on the outside. Of oh, the gate. a snowboarder. Snowboarders are ruining our lives as skiers. We need to mandate these guys. So so far, I'm. That used to be a real thing. <laughs> on this, I know that's why I said it. I remember going over the moguls and and tripping a lot. Yeah. Uh, but you can also jump. I think I remember you could also jump off the rocks if you timed it right. Yeah, that sounds that sounds right. Okay, so I'm finishing there. That was boring as fuck. Here we go. Let's jump off the rock. Yeah, so you get a little bit of air. Yeah. Um, I think my freestyle or my slalom ride is over so i'm just gonna start uh playing a little bit see how far you can get yeah before this uh yeti guy hey don't don't say it don't, don't say it you'll... it's like beetlejuice if you say him a couple more times he's gonna appear yeti guy no hey what the fuck did i just say candy man can i say various ones and yeah and say just... different ones okay candy michael man. myers <laughs> beetlejuice <laughs> austin powers joe biden <laughs> 93 all right so i got a style point of 93 andrew good job mikey i'm Thank really you proud of much. you uh, I like that you can see the uh, the uh, chairlift. The chairlift. Yeah, is I know it's kind of cool. It is like if you if you see what and, and if you're listening to this, go look it up. What the original ski game looked like. This yeah. is very much an improvement. Yeah, uh, it, it's it's funny that the white background, which is just a white background of a, of a word doc or something like that, yes, actually does a large part of selling. Like, oh yeah, it does look like a ski hill. It seriously does. I think that's very important. There's a bush. Can I jump over the bush? I can. Oh, so most of the things you jump over. We'll give oh, you a little bit of a boost. That's pretty cool. But it's not increasing my style points. So maybe I'm just freestyling right now. Can I now. just say, I know this is how stupid this sounds. It looks good. <laughs> it does look good. It does look good. Like it looks good. It looks like, I feel like this is the kind of game probably after release when they tried to remake it, they would try to remaster the graphics. Yeah. But the charm of this is like, I love that we're in an era now. Oh my God, it's a bottle showman. Okay, if I don't go past him, will he come get me? Where is he? He's right there on the screen. He's right below me. Oh. Oh, he looks really pissed too. He's yelling at me. He's daring me. He's, he's, he's throwing out slurs. He's, <laughs> turns out, 
we should have canceled him a long time ago. Mm. Should I go past him? Well, no. What if I hit him? What if I hit him? I don't think that'll work out for you, Mikey. Come here, baby. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. yo, 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 you got it, it didn't work out very no, well No, that for did me. not work at all. I'm going to go tree stall. No, I don't want to go tree stall. I'm going. Oh, so wait. It depends on where you start up there, your yes, objective? Yes, you choose, you choose your objective That's based cool. on where you start. Like how like it built in it is. There's no main menu or some of that, which is probably there was no main menu. because Yeah, like, there was just no option for it. Now, no now, we, now we consider that to be very uh, novel. Yeah. Yeah. Like we talk about all the time with training that you have to do it organically instead of going like press jump to do something. Yes, exactly. Instead, it's like now it's like, no, no, you like you had to. It's so cool. Look how well I'm doing, though. Hitting okay. these rainbow jumps. Not enough people are talking about how well, how well doing. I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, not mentally, just in terms of how I play ski. Get out of here. You Honestly, got sometimes the snowboarders feel like they're intentionally going into you. I wonder they're if like that's in the getting. coding, if that's in part of the coding. Eh? Yeah. It's like, make them be assholes because all snowboarders are. Well, I think it's probably that there are like, there really are three paths on this hill, right? Yes. And so it, each one of them is taking up a path. And that means you also are taking up a path. So I got, I got a six as my, as my score out of what? the last score was 93. Oh boy. That was pretty good. If I do say so Maybe myself. it's like golf. Maybe it's golf. The lower, the better. Yeah, lower, the better. There's a score there that's a minus 26. I don't know where that came from. That could be... Oh, uh, so you're doing really well. That's a really good score. <laughs> um, holy shit. I am outrageously bored right now, Andrew. Can you entertain me while I'm playing this? Um, I can play with one hand. Watch this. I'll pick my nose while I'm playing. Oh, no. That's disgusting. Don't do that. Oh, God. I thought this ended with Booger, man. Okay. How's this going, Andrew? Is this okay. looking good on camera, do you think? I don't think so. I don't like this. I'm even... I'm I'm not happy about what I just did. I don't like no, that I don't that like exists it. in I didn't like that And I apologize to you, the viewer, for picking my nose in front of you. It was all fake. It was a prosthetic finger. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, this game needs more things around it. Like... There are very few jumps. Yeah. Um, well, there, are there? It feels like they're every two feet. Well, those are rocks. Oh, oh. Bombo Snowman. Okay, I'm going to try to see? use this guy as bait. There's a skier <laughs> near me as bait. Let's see if he goes to get him. And if not, oh, he's running. No, he's going straight. Fucking Jesus. Wow. He's, he's really fast. fast. He's really fast. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I got one more to go. Let me go try tree slalom. We'll do. We'll each okay. do one of each. Tree slalom. You can kind of move with the. Uh, the I like this. This is the most realistic part of the game. Is this skiing? Is like <laughs> you actually can do that. Yeah. Tree slalom. Tree slalom. Oh, uh, it is slalom. It's pretty tight. Oh, oh they good. turned a little smiley faces when you when you hit them. That's cool. Oh, that's nice. It's not increasing my score though, which is weird. Bullshit. Dude. It's bullshit. You hit every one of them so far. Oh, I, I hit everyone and, yeah, a tree, and a tree just, just to make sure they didn't feel left yourself. out. Yeah, sunny boned myself. <laughs> Broke every bone in your body. The most horrific thing that I know and make jokes about all the time. I actually probably well, not you, the one joke you missed is he broke every bono in his body. <laughs> he had no bonos left. Yeah, and it was a real uh, overcast day actually. So, oh, I missed it. Oh, because there's there was a mad no, face. Oh no, Sunny. I don't understand why my score isn't going up. I feel like I'm doing a really great job. Is it only at the end? Maybe. I think we're about to find that out. It's weird because you hit the end. Woo. Nice. And then they give you a, a score and then you get to just kind of freestyle around a little bit. We'll see a score of zero. Oh, it gave me a time as a high well, score. Well, yeah, that's what it is. Okay. You're going to try and get away from this Yeti this time? Fuck yeah, I'm going Yeti's fast. been literally eating your ass every time you've gone by. Yeah, apparently I learned this on one of my other podcasts where we're uh, recording an episode of Wild Boys oh, okay. uh, on the Jackass podcast. Whoa. Apparently uh, most wild animals go for the ass first when they're eating something. Well, there's a lot of, there's a lot of nutrients in the ass. I don't know why I'm talking like I, know I'm talking. <laughs> I tried. Yeah, I think so. That's why we all eat ass now. The millennials, there's a resurgence in that. I'm trying to act young, so I'm exclusively eating ass. I'm, I, I order it on Uber Eats all the time. There's a dog. Can I hit the dog? I did. I Yo, did. you ran over the dog, I Mikey. Just, it just said, woof. Oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I made it 20, 2,025 meters. Andrew, why don't you give this a shot 2,025 meters. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Spider-Man does whatever a spider So what are the controls? Uh, you'll figure it out pretty quick. I'm not even going to tell you, actually. <laughs> you got it. So Andrew making his way down, jumping over some rocks, hitting some rocks head on, something Wait, that I never I, did. I thought my... that was a jump. No, you got to jump before. Uh... So you got to kind of use it as it's, as its momentum. There you go. You see what I yeah. mean, though? Like, after how many runs do you run, literally run out of things to do? I'm not going to lie. The uh, t 24, that's you. That's you. What's your score? 24. 24, 24, 24. Or minus 24. Minus 24. Okay, so not very good. No, bad. I had what, 96? What, what am I supposed to do? Andrew, what was my score? 
I actually have no idea. Wait, can you remind me? Was it 96? I have no idea, Mikey. Was it 96? I believe it was. Oh, man. So Andrew making his way through. He's getting closer and closer to the land of the snowman. Oh, he's going all the way to his right. That's interesting. I'm going to see what else is, is out there. How wide is this hill? How wide is this hill? Oh, oh snowboarder's coming to stop you. Jesus Christ. That guy's like really coming after me. He's going real fast. I'd like to get on a snowboard. How do you, how do you speed up? You don't, Andrew. Well, that feels stupid. So if I just go straight, like let's say we run into this Yeti and I just go straight. Oh, it's going to catch you. Well, then how do I get away from the Yeti? You don't Man, get away from the Yeti. I saw someone say in a message board thing, press F to, to get away from the, the Yeti. Oh, Whoa, you speed up a lot by pressing F. F makes you speed up? Oh my God. Oh, that's good to know. Or does it just speed up the game? Oh, maybe. Okay, let's. Well, I'm going to try this again here. Okay. Small rainbow horizontal lines. When you move over one, you perform a super jump and can perform tricks and jump over obstacles. Whoa. Maybe when you're in the air, press some buttons and see if you can perform some okay. tricks. Oh, so you're doing what? Tree slalom now or just regular Yeah, I'm slalom? doing tree slalom. And how's that going for you? Eh, not great. Okay. What's your score? Uh, 121. What was mine? I don't know. What was yours? I don't know. It should say on the screen there. Is that yours? 108? Yeah. I Actually? Guess, I guess I won. Hmm. I guess I won. So see if w when you get some air, you can perform some tricks. Andrew, just Did the avoid ramps just go like yeah. They may not. They may not. Uh, may not want. It. But it, maybe you can perform a super jump off a off a rock and do some tricks. Okay. Off of a new member of the uh, of the Fortnite crew, do a jump off the rock. Why is there dogs on this hill? That's a great question, Andrew. Uh, someone's got to look after them. Please spay and neuter your pets. Thanks, Bob. There's oh, there's the Yeti, and he got you. Boy, I, did he. I remember the chases being a bit longer. Longer, yeah. yeah. So did the Yeti just end your turn? Like, yes. is there ways to get around? No, no, no. You can't escape the Yeti. He I always gets you. Okay. So Andrew just doing regular song. Oh, I missed one. Goes straight through one of the uh, the flags. I think you get a punishment of time if you miss them. So. I think that's probably right. Uh, it should be a punishment of monetary value. I think that would be a bit more fair. Societal blame. Societal blame. What do you think? Are you a better skier in real life or in this game? <laughs> real life. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, same. Which is not saying much. The what, What's your favorite game mode so far? The, these, not freestyle. Yeah, and so oh, not to, freestyle. No, something to do with something to do with racing. High score? score, 53 seconds. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. But, you know, you didn't have trees to compete with. But it is the high score. Oh, I, didn't, I don't think I did that one. It's the high score. I don't think I ever, I don't think score. I ever tried it. I don't think I ever would. Uh, I feel like it. For oh, what did you just hit? Crushed a skier. A skier. Yeah. Then the pink suit. Andrew, just, just, just barreling down this, uh, this track now as fast as you can. Are you, are you seeing whether or not holding uh F can get you past the, I only have to press it once. Oh, just dodging in between Ooh, the trees. Did, Andrew going di dodging. Come oh, on. so you press F and it just puts and you it just in, puts a, you in I fast think, forward. Yeah. So I think it is just fast forward mode. We'll see how quickly the snowman gets to you. Doing it this way, uh, through some moguls. Avoid trees. Here he comes. Whoa, he's gone. Oh, it's another one. Ah, oh, gone. maybe that is actually I think you faster. can get by. Holy moly! Yeah, that was exciting. Okay, all right. Okay, well, give it. You want to give it one more? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go freestyle, and then I'll give it one more freestyle. I want to see if we can do some tricks. Okay. So here goes Andrew doing a freestyle. So I'm just his trying every button. Away. Want to hit a ramp and do a little jump and do a little spin today. Oh. He is skiing and he is dancing and he fell in the snow. He's looking for a ramp and looking for a jump so he can Ow. really go Jeez. past. Abominable snowman, abominable snowman. Andrew's missing the jumps. Doo -doo -doo -doo. If he loses, he is oh. really going to take his lumps. Nice. Oh, oh, did you do a trick or did you just hit the? No, I have not either. found what I, I've been trying a button every time. Freestyle it out, Mikey. Here we go. Oh, you can do little tricks. You can? You can. Watch this. Woo! Whoa. What? How are you? What were you pressing? Mouse button. The only button to, to I use. I I did that. But I think you do have to hit one of the rainbow jumps. Oh, ouchies. Well, that's a stupid place to put a ramp. Yeah. Right next <laughs> to the, uh, the ski lift. That doesn't seem fair. Give me another jump, boy. There we okay, go. Okay, here we go, Mikey. Big jump coming up. Yeah, big. And, nailed uh, it. Crushed it. But I got negative. I got three points for that, bringing me up from negative 14. Oh, so if you fall, you're negative. Oh, wow. I, 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 if you fall, you're negative. If you fall, you might be a redneck. <laughs> here we go. Here's a jump. 
If you are uh, a bunch of hunk of meat on two sleds, uh, you might be Yeti food. You might be Yeti food. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Whoa. I thought you were falling in the air. I With thought grace. I was, too. 168 whoa, points. Oh, my God. Holy moly. Here the, we go. The introduction of jumps really helped you. Eh? It really helped me. Uh, or and- tricks, I guess. Tricks. Well, yeah, I knew how to jump before. Yeah, but that's uh, that, that. Watch this snowboarder. Bet you can't do a thing that I just did, even though paralyzed I paralyzed myself. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you can't land on your neck like me. <laughs> Watch this. Here's here's a trick that you're gonna really like. Once. Oh wait. Oh no, god! No, no, no. You sunny boned yourself. I sunny boned myself. Here you go. Here you go. Watch this. Okay, so I see a jump. Yeah. I'm gonna pull one that you're really gonna like, and yeah. especially if you're watching on YouTube, you're, you're okay. really gonna like this one. Close my eyes. Oh! oh. Did it work? I, I don't know. You were blocking the screen. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> only one way to find out in post. <laughs> oh, 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 you're yeti food now. <laughs> Let's yeti into it. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh, that was got pretty me. good though. He got me. Well, that was a good run. Okay. I can't, let's play. You, you want to play an hour more or so? Yeah, let's maybe an hour or two. An hour or two. Let's do okay, it. Okay, let's do All it. Right, but we won't record it because it's too much fun to focus uh, on. Exactly. This one's for us. We'll see you after the break. We'll see you on the other side. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready to go. I was born ready. Start this episode. Oh, it's we've been recording. We're midway through it. That was not training, Andrew. That was not a drill. This Andrew, is you're a drill. Corpsing. <laughs> you're corpsing right now. <laughs> oh, no. He's literally dying. You're literally, oh, no, he's got the arms folded. That's how you know he's, and he closed his own eyes. He's definitely, definitely dead, and he's not a mummy. His eyes are open. It's Christmas time. It's Jesus. He came back to life. <laughs> Sorry, what happens at Christmas? Jesus comes back to life. <laughs> well, it's his birthday. I'm, I'm Buddhist, so I believe you can be resurrected. What was Jesus in a previous life? He was an ant. Wow. He's wor- he worked, he, he skipped he was a the, lot of steps. His his sibling had kids? Yes. And exactly. he was a woman? <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, uh, they, their sibling had kids. Um, and do you know who that kid was? Who? Tom Hanks. Wow. Yeah. Well, wow. That timeline just fucked with my head a lot. <laughs> Wait, so how's that? Wait. Oh. Okay. Let's do this. All right. Let's do it. And welcome back to the retrograde. Run. We got it. We're being chased by an abominable snowman. <laughs> and we lost our skis. <laughs> we got to run. Does it look like I'm running? It actually kind of does on YouTube if you're watching it on YouTube. Yeah. Otherwise, you just got to visualize like in Ski Free what it would be like if we were running. Well, also, have you seen those, those uh, TikToks where there's like people walking and then- like pretending to walk. I'm like looking pretending at this, to walk. Yeah, it pretend like walking in place, and it's like. They, oh yeah, it's always so impressive. I find that very impressive. I bet, I bet you I could learn how to do it just based on how my shoulders are moving right now. Mikey, there's a lot of things you could teach yourself. Whether you're going to do it or not, I'm going to juggle. I think I'll be juggling right, tomorrow. That's the other one. Juggling, yeah, <laughs> juggling another language, an instrument, you know. But there's, you know, we choose not to. No, we choose not to. Yeah, I could teach myself how to finish games. Could you? Unless, unless Could you? Unless it's ski free. Well, yeah. You can't finish that game. No, like Spy Hunter. We like, love those games where it's like, nope, goes on forever. Goes on forever. Uh, I was happier when Spy Hunter went on forever than <laughs> ski free. Um, Which canonically thank- only Spy Hunter got two. I'm a, I, I refuse the amendments. <laughs> I refuse the New Testament. Thank God this yeah. is ski free and not ski $2 and 50 cents because I would not <laughs> even spend that on it. What the fuck did we just play? I mean, it's unfair to expect it to have held up but it does not. <laughs> it, I was going to say, this is like, we're supposed to be surprised when the game's like, oh, it's actually okay. Yes. It's supposed to be like this. Right. Where we're like, yeah, okay. Makes sense that we stopped playing it after a certain amount of time. Yeah. This, this gives me fear though, because I, I do legitimately want to do one of those like month long looks at the Microsoft Entertainment Packs, but that's going to be awful. No, we might get to week three and like, we're changing the theme. <laughs> <laughs> It's all, I don't know, Saints Row this month. <laughs> what do you think your favorite um, uh, of those games is? Do you have one? God, it, I thought it might have been Ski Free, so now I'm starting to worry. Um, I know, right? Well, actually, it's funny you say that because I think looking back on it, Ski Free is the game that everyone remembers yeah. from, from those packs. There were some reviewers that 
trashed it when it first came out. Wow. Um, of note, and I just think like imagine being one of those people, like how wrong you are on that side of history. Barry Simon of PC Magazine 1992 chose Pipe Dream as the best title in the pack. Who could forget Pipe Dream? And said the, the graphics were not very extensive. I think the graphics are not the worst thing about this game. The graphics are not the thing I'm going to attack. No, no. Uh, 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 it's a skier because I'm the abominable snowman. <laughs> yeah, That's exactly. what I'm going to be attacking. <laughs> um, I, I just, I even, even still though, I don't know... What do you not know? I don't know why I liked it so much as a kid. It's so barren. It's so barren. Yeah, but like, I think part of the appeal is the replayability. It yes. is, if you liked it the first time, you might like it the 30th time because you could still kind of do whatever you want. And in a, in a world where there is no open format or sandbox or anything like right. that, that was not a thing. You're That's like, true. I could just do whatever. Well, let's do the left side this time. Let's do all the way to the right. Just exploring a map that felt infinite. And it I'm did. sure you it know, is. Probably, it, probably it is. Yeah. There's probably no way to get to the end. Uh, but, but even still i wonder actually if you just kept clicking left or right how far it would go until I get the game broke, <laughs> breaks yeah. yeah but it only counts your distance when you're going down yes so if you just go left would you travel the whole world all the way back to the start on the other side would you you're talking about physical like actually the world yeah would you traverse the world I think so. I think this is an around the world in 80,000 days scenario <laughs> how long would it take to walk around the world do you want to just come up with numbers off the top of your head? Yeah, you can do that. And then second question, mm -hmm. to rock around the clock. Mm -hmm. I want to know how long it's going to take for both of those things. Yeah, that's a really good question. How long does it take to get around the clock? Well, 12 hours probably. I would say, yeah. Either what, 12 wait, or 24. Is it a military clock? On. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. That's the thing. Yeah, uh, but to, to walk around the world... I mean, is this is this a Patreon thing? Is this do we, we might do, have to do, do a whole do episode where we're just doing math the whole time, like poorly, oh, like I was very say poorly. One episode where we walk around the world <laughs> and edit it down to forty five minutes. <laughs> I just love the idea. Like, where are we? And they're like Iceland. I'm like, ah, oh, oh, we're not even close. We were in Iceland yesterday. <laughs> Man, why is Iceland so big? <laughs> um, uh, why is this game world so big as well? Uh, but you mentioned the whole idea of being able to kind of explore the whole map. We'll move past that. Smooth. I liked it. Um, uh, being able to explore or the whole map in kind of this sandboxy feel and yeah. I get that. Yes. Especially the fact that most games at this time, most puzzle games, most high score games, the score was based on you going until you lose. Mm -hmm. Whereas in this game, you go until you get to 2,000 meters and then the round is over. In fact, the round the round where it's counting your score is over prior to that. I think it's probably about 1,000 meters. Then you got another 1,000 to go before you get eaten by the Yeti. And that's kind of interesting because it's not like it's not like I'm going to start a game of Tetris and this could last two minutes or it could last 20 minutes. Right. It's like, I know exactly how long I have. I'm going to try to get the best possible score between that zero meters and a thousand meters. Mm -hmm. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Right, whatever you want. Score up and I'm not going to die. Right. You might fall, but you're not going to die. Yep. That's actually very interesting. That is cool. Yeah. I like that part of it. I, I you know, the Yeti is like an interesting thing. If thank, if thank God for the Yeti, if there was no Yeti and you kind of just could do this forever until you stopped. Yes. That sounds like hell. I... Yeah, I would never want to do that. No. I, I think the forced reset is key. And yes. we talked about this in Spy Hunter as well, where uh, if the runs were too long, it wouldn't be that fun. Yes. You know, they were fairly short. You know, we're not talking 20 minutes, you know, maybe five minutes. Maybe. For, for, uh, for yeah. the best run that you could possibly do. Uh, and that's good. I like that kind of quick snip. You're never expecting to mm. invest too much. That's what my Moyle said. Uh, your what? Moyle. S say that again what my Moyle said. Oh, I thought you were saying Merle. No, I don't know Merle. Oh, my name is Merle. Oh, you <laughs> A show that came on was popular then went away. Completely forever. Yeah. The most popular thing about that show nowadays is how the 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 bigger guy is yeah. now completely ripped. The yeah. actor who plays it. The him. most famous thing from my name is Earl is there used to be a fat guy who's now in who's shape. Who's now in shape. My brother sent me a, a picture of him and is like, do you recognize this guy? Like, menacingly he yeah. asked me and i'm like yeah it's that's the guy from my name is yeah. well. or like, remember the titans yeah i don't i, I don't remember that movie um I, I don't remember remember the titans <laughs> um and, and i was like yeah no that's that's him he's like oh someone told you about it i'm like no i can i see his face Same as i face. know i know yeah. who he is and he's like how crazy is that i'm like it isn't he worked hard yeah like, like no he deserves all the credit in the world for, for straightening himself out but it's not like it's not magic it's not like he grew a third arm no exactly <laughs> that'd be like wait what? <laughs> he grew a third arm and that arm was ripped. <laughs> <laughs> 
one arm's pudgy, one arm's normal, <laughs> and one arm's ripped. Like, it's like, it is not, yeah, like, yeah, so good for him. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's like, isn't that crazy? I'm like, it isn't. It's impressive. It's because incredibly Because that's really impressive. hard yes. to do, but like, I could write the blueprint of how it happens. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not sitting there like. And l- let me guess, was it died and working out? Yeah, it, step one, go on the Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> step two, I'm sure he was at some point. All know. beef diet all beef diet. Yeah. Yep. Uh, you gotta, gotta go for that. Um, uh, uh, and also you have to worship lobsters <laughs> because I, I am not going to ask a follow up to okay. that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, is it, no, but like, I'm glad you brought that up. Cause you're right. I think also Jason Lee disappearing kind of like yeah, helps. what happened to him. I don't know. Maybe just made a ton of money and just enjoyed it. Good for him. Good for him. The Marvin Hagler of, uh, <laughs> of, of acting, except the opposite. Cause Marvin Hagler quit boxing to go act. Yeah. Jason Lee's now a boxer. Yeah, he used to be a professional skater. Yeah, he's too. fighting Canelo next week. Oh, is he really? Yeah, yeah, he I is. I don't think that's going to go very well. I don't think it's going to go well for Canelo either. What about the what about the, the former fat guy? Is he going to fight Canelo? Oh, actually, he's fighting Jason Lee after the Canelo <laughs> fight. He's, he's taking the winner. He's just sitting there in the back lines like, whoever wins, I get the winner, and we all lose. <laughs> okay. Uh, Yeti. Uh, oh, wait, what? Oh, right, the game. Yeah, the game we played. Um, Ski free. Uh, yeah. I think legitimately the least amount of time we've spent with a game. And guys, listeners, you can't fucking blame us for that. No, we legitimately played, I don't know, 10 times each. Like, we played a lot. Yes. But there's only so much you can do. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. We, we eventually got to where we, we were able to do tricks. Tricks were cool. That was good. It's basically like you click once and do half a flip, and then yeah. you click another time, you do another half of a flip. Yeah. So two clicks yeah, yeah. equal a flip. Yeah, that's yep. what I. No that's one what my bumper sticker says. Yeah, <laughs> two clicks to a flip, and and you and ask ass or grass. Ask. <laughs> no one rides for free. <laughs> yeah, those are your two bumper stickers. I whenever I hitchhike, they're like All right. that in a locker up that you can't get rid of your car, and I'm like, Mikey, it's always important. Oh, like- <laughs> and I'm like, Mikey, you gotta get this thing. You're like, I've tried. It's not enough goo gone in this world. Actually, that would be a funny prank is to go around and put obnoxious bumper stickers on other people's cars. Yes. That would be really funny. Just who farted. (laughs) Coexist as the most obnoxious of them all. Coney 2012. (laughs) I can't believe that was 2012. Holy shit. Look at us not talking about ski free again. Man, we're, I'm desperately trying to think about things to talk about. It's hard. What more do we want to say? They got ramps. If we can. (laughs) Okay. Let's go one-to-one and say the textures in this game. Sure. Ramps. Snowboarders. Rocks. Trees. Moguls, flags, single moguls, uh, other skiers. Damn it, that was mine. Uh, uh, a start ma- uh, explanation of the controls. Dogs, abominable snowman, chairlifts, poles. Oh, poles. Yeah, that's good. I think about mushrooms. There's mushrooms. There's little mushrooms. If you oh, jump yes. over them, they give yes. you a little score. Bushes. Oh, bushes. Yeah, there's bushes. Uh, there's uh, Reagans. There's Obamas. <laughs> there's there's <laughs> Carters. Yeah. Carters. <laughs> yeah. I. That's that. We just named the whole game. We need snow, the- snow, snow, <laughs> snow, Informer. stealing watches, stealing watches. <laughs> um, so that, listen, we, we encapsulated everything there is to know about this game. We told you the game. We told you everything that exists in it. Okay. So how about this? Tree slalom slalom. Yes. Kind of the same. Very much the same. Except that. So I thought when you were describing it was tree slalom, like ski around the trees. Oh no. You ski no. around the flags, but there's trees on the course. Yes. Yeah, very much like the tree under meter dash. It really is. It, I want to get mad, but it it's, really it's is. It's basically part and parcel. It's hard to Which I don't think is what you say there. I don't mm-hmm. think part and parcel was the, were the no. words in that order that I should have used, but no. I used them anyway. No, 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 no. If the Yeti cared about grammar, he would come over and devour you right now. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a character from a schoolhouse rock. He really does. Yeah. Yeah. He also, junction, junction. He looks what's, like, what's that famous uh, painting where the monster's eating the baby? The Mona Lisa. Oh, you know, you're talking, I think you're talking about the Cyclops, the painting of the Cyclops. Yeah, and he's like, he's devouring yes. it, like he's, because he's turning into a monster. Uh, that's what he looks like. He does. He very much looks like that. Uh, we need Odysseus to come stick a pole in his eye and save us. <laughs> How often is Odysseus going to come up on this podcast? The amount that Homer, uh, Robert Frost, yes. and like <laughs> a few of them come up and I'm like, man, look at us. Sylvia Plath has shown up a few times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I tried to, I, I tried to go bake a pie and she was taking up too much space in my oven. Couldn't do that. <laughs> Man, every <laughs> so every time that we make some kind of weird fart joke, or uh-huh. you know, what I mean, you just got to remember how many times we have mentioned Robert fucking Frost. On how many? How, how many times we talk about Sylvia Plath's head in an oven? Head in an oven. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. The goat. The goat. Um, the, goat. <laughs> the goat at putting heads in ovens. Um, okay. So yeah, we just named all those things. Slalom freestyle. What was your favorite one? Um. Oh, that's a hard one, man. <laughs> 
if I really got to get, you're forcing my hand. I got to give you an answer on yeah, this one. Yeah. Oh, brother. Didn't think this was going to happen. I thought you, I thought you, you look like a freestyle guy to me. Oh, I love the freestyle. Yeah. I'm listen. more of a slalom guy. Are, are, you know what? Tree slalom, we make fun of it, was very fun. It was fun. I mean, not very well, fun. Well, I don't know. Relative fun. to everything I don't else. Know fun. It was interesting. The you problem, had to pay attention. What they should have had was an all in one course yes. where you get slalom with some jumps. Yes. You, get, you know, like that would have been good. Uh, but that literally is the Olympic event of moguls. Yes. Is you do moguls and then you jump. And then you do a, a weird slow backflip. It yeah. seems like their go to. Or so a little you, Mr. Twister in the air. Yeah. That's hey, cool. Mr. Twisty, a Daffy. Uh, a Daffy. Yeah. Wah, wah. Wah, wah, yeah. Uh, backflip Daffy. Wah, wah. Yeah, yeah. A McTwist. A McTwist, a McFlurry. A McFlurry. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, that's when you do a McTwist, but it's snowing really bad out. <laughs> Eating ice cream while flipping up and backwards. Yeah. yeah you stick a spoon in your head. <laughs> Yeah. So okay. Yeah, we should. There should have been that. I like now the, we're just the, naming things that, that should be in the game. My favorite is is the is the the frosty mm -hmm. or the blizzard. Okay. Because uh, the blizzard, you you stay upside down for as long as you can, and if anything leaks out of your ears, then then you fail the trick. But if nothing <laughs> moves, then you buy a treat at Dairy Queen. Well, it's like a tag team event. One goes upside down. One goes proper yes. way up, and yes. they look at each other, and then they're very impressed. And they wow, wow. Yeah, you get it for free if it falls on my head. Very impressed. Unlike what we are with this game. So yeah, why don't we get trying. into our fucking? Yeah, reviews. we got There's, it. I, we can't talk around it anymore. There just isn't anything to talk about with this game. Whose idea was it to do fucking ski free on this podcast? Don't answer that question. Okay. <laughs> All right, so this game, which so gloriously received a three and a three and a half in the retro score, uh, Andrew, why don't you lead us in with your score out of four based on how this game holds up in the modern day against the likes of modern games like Returnal, like Fortnite, yep. like NBA 2K22. Oh, boy. Um, well, it's much better than 2K22. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's, you go, okay, here is, whether it's right or not, here is my scaling for these games. Okay. You, if it's over a zero, it's playable. If yes. it's a zero, it's unplayable. Yes. So I, it can't get a zero because you could still finish this game. Yes. But like getting much past that is going to be a conversation. Totally now. agree. It works and it, there is some kind of nostalgia, but man, more than like we've talked about nostalgia constantly on this yes. podcast. For you to have nostalgia, you have to at least to like play it a couple of times to go, oh, it's not the game yeah, I thought yeah, it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. This within five goddamn seconds, you're yes. like, ooh, okay. Yes. So I can't, I got to give it a 0.5, Mikey. Yeah. I, like, why are we kidding ourselves here? We couldn't even talk about it. I know. I don't know how to talk my way around it either more. E e e any more than, than yeah. I already have. Here's the thing is all the nostalgia that I got from this game, I got from looking at a fucking screenshot before I played it. Yes. It was seeing the abominable snowman and talking to you about it being scary. Exactly. If anything, this ruined my nostalgia for the game, yeah. uh, which is, you know, to, to retrofit that, you know, I'm not going to change my score or anything like that. I had fun with it as a kid, but no, this game is the best thing you can say about it is the code works. Yeah. It, you can ski, you can get to the bottom it and is that's it. A game. It is a game. No one can deny. No one can deny. Uh, some people may try, but mm -hmm. it, God damn, it's not much of one. It's a 0.5 out of four. There's yeah. no, nowhere. This may be Jesus. the lowest score we've given to a, uh, to a score, uh, to a I'm game in the retro score. I'm fairly sure we've given a zero before. No, maybe to something like, uh, 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 death match, celebrity death match yeah. or something like so that. So that's a one. And so combined, that's a seven and a half. Out of <laughs> it's so funny that so down 16 and we're like, well, that's not bad. You're like, no, the, the current score is a one. You know what? So I'm looking through some of the, uh, some of the current scores we've given. We gave Parappa the Rappa each a 0.5 out of 10 in the modern day. Parappa Rappa is a better game than this. It's, it is a better game than this, but it tries to do more as it well. It does. Uh, and it fails at it in the modern game, day. That game was frustrating. Oh man, people will not like Resident Evil 2 got a 0.5 out of 10 from you. Yeah, I did. That game also I did not like though. The, no. ca the camera just locks into a corner and you're like, where am I? What am yes, I doing? Celebrity Deathmatch, two zeros across the board <laughs> in the modern day for us. So thank you, Brian Bland. Once thank you, Brian. Again. Brian Bland, a listener of ours. If you're new to the podcast and you're not familiar with the lore, uh, also uh, he's he's got a, a podcast yes. out there uh, called the Trash Time Radio Hour. Yeah. Um, let me just make sure that's the name of it. I think it is. Uh, the Bland and Boone Trash Time Radio Hour. Oh, okay. So I was right there. Uh, and, uh, you know, a longtime listener of the podcast. Yeah. His favorite game of all time growing up, he mentioned, was Celebrity Deathmatch. And he wouldn't shut up and about it. He wouldn't us shut up about it. He's like obsessed with it. Forced us to do it. Yeah. And we did. And it was a zero out of 10. Uh, so listen, in order to show your support for uh, him becoming canon on the podcast, <laughs> go give them a shout. Bland yeah. and Boone Trash Time Radio Hour. Podcast is on Spotify. And, all and the while you're giving you us uh, subscribing and rating and reviewing, give them a rating and review. Hell yeah. That helps a lot. Hell yeah. Part, I so. gave a zero to 10 to sneak king in the modern day as well oh yeah you another did. another atrocious zero game. zero to ten yeah zero to four yeah um yeah. yeah so okay so there is precedent 
for us being this low on a game. Yes. And to be honest, now that you're reading it back, I'm like, hmm, eh, yeah, that's the right spot. It sounds it. about right. Yeah. Seriously. Like, I don't know what more we would give to it. It's not even that it's bad as in the controls suck and all the controls aren't great. It's just, there's nothing to this game. There's just not much. This is like a game you play on a graphing calculator. What? Oh God, that's a really good point. Cause I was thinking like, we always make a, like a derisive comment about like, it's a mobile game now. It's a mobile game now. This isn't even a mobile game. No, no. This is like, I don't even know what, like, you're right. It's a, it's a graphing calculator. It's the dollar computer thing. They have it in like a checkout line. It does one thing. It's and you dollar, computer. you know, like, you know, like they'll say like baseball. Oh, major, yes, you know, like, yes, yes, RBI yes, yes, baseball yeah. 92. And you yes. can just kind of hit a ball that shows up. Yes. That's this. That's basically it. Yeah, I agree. Not much to it. Uh, but so that's the overall score. Yeah. Still a seven and a half out Crazy. of 10. So a better overall rating than, for example, uh, Dave Mira. <laughs> oh boy. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic oh Games. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go down that. No, barely a worse rating than Bart's nightmare. But look, that's what happens when you have such a high rating in the modern, in the, in the classic era, yeah, the that's classic part, era. That's <laughs> you got Plato's and Socrates just talking about philosophy mm -hmm. being like, Oh, mm -hmm. humans are, are featherless bipeds. Pl Plato be like, <laughs> Plato be like humans are featherless bipeds. Mm -hmm. That cave, that place sucks. Watch out for the cave. The sun. Yep. I'm, there's going to be a movie based on Neo one day nice. because Neoplatonism. Nice. Ooh, that's coming out soon. Yeah. Um, yeah. So like, I, you know, I don't know. I'm sure we're going to hear about this, but like if, before you say oh, anything, I hear. Oh, music. Man. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. 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 Wait, yeah. Do you need to finish that or no? no I'm good. To go? I'm okay, good. I'm the good. music starting. I think we need to go over there. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. You've been waiting for it all year. The most glamorous award ceremony of the week. Ladies and gentlemen, the Grady's. Beautiful. Oh. Oh. Bow, Solemn. Bow. <laughs> <laughs> Solemn slalom? Solemn slalom. Solemn slalom. Yeah, I, that'd be so funny if it was a beautiful orchestra music and then at the end you hear chick chick <laughs> well, you might, depending on who is uh, editing this week. Um, so, uh, obviously, it's time for the awards. Yeah. We've got Elliot in his 1980s ski garb. He looks yeah. great in it. Looks good. Purples and greens and oranges. Yeah. They just threw caution to the wind when they were making ski suits back in the day. They just wanted to make sure you were not lost. Yes, you got to <laughs> see every part of your body. 100%. Orange is the arms. Purple is the chest. <laughs> Green is the goggles. Paint by numbers uh, ski suits. Yeah, but pay no attention to what color they're asking for. Yeah. Just use fluorescence of your yeah, choice. Yeah, no, that's it. It's just children painting those yes. things. Yeah. It's like a real life thing of like a child gave you a drawing like this is you and you look like a monster and you're like, <laughs> make this into a ski suit, please. <laughs> That'd be a good idea for like a TikTok sketch. It's like, this is you. And then you look in the mirror. And yeah. just an absolute <laughs> monster. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, I'm going to do that. Elliot, uh, what do you have to say to us today? Uh, why don't you reach into one of those many pockets, grab that envelope and let us know the awards that this game's won. There's a lot of pockets. There's a there. lot of pockets. The Worst Buy Hall of Fame. Oh. And? and Jack, I want you to draw me like one of your video games. The Rose Colored Hall of Play. I have this one big pile of shit. Yes, I compare you to a kiss from a rose colored plane. <gasps> Wow. wow. It's been a while since we've had two awards. Yeah. It's been about four weeks. I know. Well, Five weeks even. We had Age of Empires winning the New Mexican Landfill and the Wine Cellar Award. This one, though, unfortunately, Ski Free winning the Worst Buy Hall of Fame, mm -hmm. where the current score is below a two, mm -hmm. uh, and the Rose Colored Hall of Plain, where the current score is significantly lower than the retro score. It's four lower, and that's what we're dealing oh, with man. today. Um, two awards that uh, no game wants to win. Yeah, no, no, it's a bad combination. Yes. You know, they sometimes meet, you know, uh, in the middle there with it. their best friends those two awards that's yes. what i'm trying to say yes. they're neighbors it's like we said you know you have a really high uh classic score <laughs> play which plato gave you yep um plato the 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 toy itself the toy gets a, yes gets a very high classic it's, score it's very much turned into a clay face situation <laughs> where plato has given he just kind of like his hand turns into a three he's like three, <laughs> three yeah. like, all right what do you, you think hold up your fingers you fucking nerd <laughs> yeah, what are you doing exactly. um uh where he gets such a high score mm -hmm. uh that obviously increases the overall score but leaves you more open and susceptible to one of these awards like the yeah. worst by hall of fame or the rose colored hall of plane a devastating punch to the stomach by these awards devastating punch oh, to the stomach but as you try to punch clay face a hole opens up and yeah. you go right through it and I'm he closes what? on you. You're a, clay, you're a clay face person or a blob person? Clay face over blob. Uh, clay face. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Yeah. Blobs always creep me out. Cause like he's a human. Yeah, he's a human, but like, no, he's not, but, but he is, but like be one, pick be one. <laughs> 
Pick a lane. Pick, pick a lane. I'm man. busy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, got to be. I only got so much time for you, man. I got places to be <laughs> Oh, well, that is ski free. That's ski free. Uh, uh, wow. I'm kind of glad it's over. I'm kind of glad we don't be afraid that. to go back and play more of the Microsoft Entertainment Pass. I, I think that will slow down our theme month uh, roll a little bit. Uh, <laughs> you know what? You know what I know? What I'm certain of, though? When people hear how much we didn't enjoy ski free, they're going to be clamoring for a Microsoft Entertainment <laughs> Pack month now. That's what they're going to want. I know, I know people love hearing us when we're miserable. Yeah. Our just parents, great. our yep. listeners. Oh no, our listeners love that. Me to you, you to me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. I actually do enjoy you being I, miserable. Yeah. Thanks, Andrew. Yeah, no problem at all. This has been the Retrograde Podcast. We love every single one of you and we can't wait to talk to you soon. My name is Andrew Baskin and with me as always is the bad boy of podcasting, Mr. Bebop himself. Swish, swish. Mikey Aaronworth. This is the Retrograde Podcast. Game over. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to the Retrograde Podcast. We look forward to recording this podcast all week long, and we hope you guys look forward to listening to it. You know how we got into retro video game podcasting for the money and the babes? We're really in it for the ratings and reviews. Money is ratings. Reviews are babes. Please subscribe, rate, and review wherever you enjoy podcasts. For any business inquiries, you can always email the Retrograde Podcast at gmail.com. You can find us on Twitter at Retrograde Pod. And you can find Andrew on Twitter at Retrograde Andy. And then Mikey at Retrograde Mikey. Instagram at The Retrograde Podcast. And remember, Find us on Patreon, patreon.com slash the retrograde podcast for all of your non-essential but very much enjoyable content. We don't ask that you give us much, apart from joining our Patreon. But what we do ask is that you join this community that we've grown. Also, yeah. give us some of your blood. <laughs> yeah. I want some of your hair in a bag. Thanks for listening. From your two dads. <laughs> Furnished by Sad Styles Productions. My mother is the Yeti. <laughs>